In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He made the stars, the moon, and the sun. He created land. He made the sky and the sea and all living creatures. He then took time to mold man. In Genesis 1 verse 26 to 28, in his image and in his likeness were we made. The psalmist speaks of how God takes care of animals, how he feeds them every day, clothes them, shelters them, and they don't have to worry about tomorrow because they know that God will provide for them. Now what more us that are made in the image of God, why would we have to worry? And the question is, why do we worry? Sin has come into the hearts of men and has been turned into worry, that is, fear of the unknown. It has become a barrier between God and man. We no longer look to God. We no longer turn to Him. We turn to drugs and cigarettes and other worldly things, but never to He who holds our future. Jeremiah 1 verse 5 says, Before I formed you in your mother's room, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. God tells us, He speaks of how He knew us before we were born, before we were even formed in our mother's rooms. Do you still doubt that God knows and cares about you? David was a man that God loved, and he wrote in Psalms 8 verse 4 to 8, Lord, who is mankind that you are so mindful of them? Now David sinned. He committed adultery. He murdered. So many sins. But God still cared for him. David was one of the greatest kings of Israel. God loved him. And he asked, Lord, who am I that you are so mindful of me? Now God sent His only Son, Jesus, to die for the same people who sin and turn away from Him, who refuse to look His way or listen to anything that He has to say. But He still remembers you by your name. Now Jesus uses the parable of the prodigal son to tell us how our relationship with God is or how God loves us so much. Now the prodigal son ran away from home and the father worried about him day in and day out. And when the son came home, he threw a feast. He opened his arms wide and hugged him. With the filth and the, the dirt and everything, he still embraced his son. He loved him so much that he didn't care about all the sins and all the, the filth. He cared about the soul in him. Now that is how God loves us. That is how God loves and cares for us. In Psalms, David speaks about how God is the good shepherd, how he leads us beside still waters, how he restores and refreshes our soul, how he leads us through the path of righteousness, how he prepares a feast before us in the presence of our enemies. But we still turn away from him. We still run away from him. We still commit sin. We still let God worry about us. We don't thank him enough for the love and the care. But he still doesn't let go. He still cares. He still loves us. He still loves you. Now, whoever is listening to me right now, I want to tell you that God loves you. God cares for you. He remembers you. Stay blessed.